Welcome back to the Force Nines YouTube channel. Welcome back to an Andalusian adventure with Sevilla on Football Manager 2017. And today we finish up season two. As you can see, if you look on the right hand side of the screen, we're in first place. And there are two games left to play. And at the moment we lead the table by one point. So we could find ourselves winning La Liga this episode and it's it's huge it's very very close we have Real Betis away and then in the second game we have a home game against Alaves um, if we win them both we win the title um, but if we drop points we need to rely on Real Madrid to drop points Barcelona played in the early kickoff today and uh, drew with Villarreal so uh, if we get a at least a point we will guarantee second place but we're on top the title is ours to lose. Let's see what we can do. Before we jump into today's games though, let's have a look at the goals from the three games I played off screen. Okay, so you're with the long throw. It's with Matos. And uh, oh, Christopher had it caught under his feet. And Sergio lay on with the finish in the 12th minute. Granada lead 1-0. Losing against the bottom side at the moment, which isn't good. But Vieto plays it out wide to Montoya. 38th minute here. Montoya with the cross. And Vieto's there. A lovely one-two between Vieto and Montoya. And an equaliser on 38 minutes. David Carmona with the throw in here. It's uh, Nzonzi. And it passes back to Gonzalez. Oh, what a goal. Leaving it late. 87 minutes played. Sevilla lead. Gonzalez with uh, a fantastic goal. Well, Gonzalez with that wonder strike may have won it for Sevilla. There it is, full time. Granada 1, Sevilla 2. Gaitan to Griezmann. He's got Gamero to his left, and Gamero with a shot, and that's weak. Gabi to Carrasco. Carrasco plays through Correa, who beats his man, and he's one on one with the goalkeeper, and over the bar. Full time. It's a goalless draw. Atletico 0, Sevilla 0. Orellana with the free kick for Valencia. Garay's up with a header. Abdenor heads it forward and Garay's there. And 45 seconds into the second half, Garay has given Valencia the lead in Sevilla. Vasquez with the corner. And Nzonzi's headed it in. Ryan didn't do well with the save. And Sevilla have responded well to going behind an equaliser 52 minutes in. Walter Montoya plays it into the middle. Here is Nzonzi. Nzonzi to Vasquez and Vitolo. Oh, good finish by Vitolo on the edge of the box. And two goals in three minutes for Sevilla and have taken the lead. Vitolo. Vitolo still running with the ball and he's brought down by Enzo Perez. And the referee's giving him a second yellow card. And Valencia will have to finish this game with 10 men. Carissa will maybe put this back in. No, he's putting it into the corner. And a good tackle. And then that's full time. Sevilla 2, Valencia 1. A huge win there. So, two wins, one draw. Not too bad. And yeah, thankfully, Real Madrid dropped points as well. Let's have a look at their results and uh, what's been happening with them. They're out of the Champions League. Man United knocked them out in the semi-finals. I think we have a Man United PSG final, if I'm not mistaken. But in the league, you saw they lost two in a row. They lost to Atletico Madrid and Real Betis, one after the other. Also drew 0-0 with Sociedad at the start of April. So, uh, yeah, they've dropped a lot of points and it's given us the opportunity to potentially win the title now because we're a point ahead of them. As for Barcelona, uh, they've just drawn with Villarreal. Uh, they lost to Valencia 2-1. Um, you know, they had some draws with Celta, but their earlier form, their form at the start of the year was uh, pretty poor. So that's why they've fallen behind. And, yeah, looking at the table, here it is. 36 games played. There's two left. And uh, we sit on 83 points, Real Madrid on 82, Barcelona on 80. Atletico Madrid will have to settle for fourth place. And yeah, the uh, title is ours to lose now. Now, Real Betis is first up. It's an away game. We have Carlos Fernandez back from his injury. Uh, he broke, I think it was a broken ankle that he had. Uh, and he's come back. Since he came back, he came off the bench against Atletico. And he started against Valencia. Uh, he didn't do too well, but uh, we're going to give him the chance here again today. He's our top scoring striker with eight goals, although Vieto is only one behind. And um, this is the team we're going to go with. Mariano is in place for Carmona, who's had a bit of a dip in form. The team is um, playing better than it was last time we met. You know, they're a bit better, but I still need to try and score some more goals because... Our scoring record isn't great. We have the best defensive record in the league by far. I think we've only conceded maybe 
what less than 20 goals I think which is pretty insane but we've scored probably less than 50 which isn't good at all I do need to set these cameras back quickly okay so Betsy with Adan in goal Tosca Degard Petzela Bruno Petros Gutierrez Ceballos Leiva Senye uh, and Allegria show me what you can do to keep our run going I'm not gonna try and put pressure on them by saying you know we could win the league if results go our way because results might not go our way. But let's start the match. I need to get all my screens up. I will put the latest scores up as well. I think we're playing at a different time as everyone else it seems actually. So we will get rid of that for now. I think Ron would play slightly later. But the last day I assume everyone plays at the same time. I don't know if it's any different in Spain as it is in England. Where everyone plays on the last day. But I'm not quite sure. But we have a corner ball here. It's caught by Adan. Fifth minute in. And we had a corner. That's... That's not okay, that's a decent start. So far, we're not really doing anything, and we're on the back foot. So we're going to get a counter-attack, and we're going to play structured, and we're going to try and hit them on the break here, because so far it's not really worked in our favour. But we need a win if we want to keep the pressure on Real Madrid, because so far it's not happening. And uh, half-time is approaching. Not really been in the game yet, only the one shot for us so far, but Vitolo is on the ball here. Could be a chance for a goal... Late on in the half here. A decent time to get a goal this would be. Here is Vasquez. Passes to Montoya. The key player this season for me. Montoya. He's been tremendous. Ibarra to Nzonzi. Vasquez. Passes back to Rami. And Bruno cuts that out. But Rami wins it back. And then Vasquez gives it away. Allegria with the shot. And it's hit the crossbar from... He must have been about 40 yards out. The ball is staying in play. It's stuck in midfield, but Gutierrez to Noahuel and a good save, Rico. That's twice that he's kept the ball out of the goal now. And well, we're going to go in a half-time goalless unless this corner goes in. It's headed clear, and uh, that will be full time. There we go. I mean, they've looked like the better team so far of Betis, but Rico has kept us in this. Uh, I'm going to say unlucky things haven't gone well so far. I think we do need to go on the counter-attack. I think that's what we need to do. I don't want to play too high because I don't want to let them behind us. I'm going to exploit the middle and we're going to try and pump it into the box. I'm going to make uh, Fernandez a support target man instead of attack. Not had the best of luck since he returned from injury. I guess there might be a bit of rust there. But, you know, if this doesn't work, we've always got Vieto to rely on. And, you know, he's been a bit better. Than that. They have an injury to their striker. Allegri is going to be forced off. Ruben Castro is on. I mean, a draw could let Real Madrid in and potentially go top. So, I want to try and win this game. So, I'm going to go to attack all right we're past the hour mark i'm a bit concerned that we're not creating enough up top i'm going to go to our team talk and I'll ask him to get creative we've had a shot on target that's all right but 68 minutes right i'm going to make some changes up top vitolo's not done well today we're going to bring on juanmi on the left and we're going to bring on vieto up top play him as the trekatista we, we haven't had a chance it's as simple as that we just haven't had a chance 77 minutes now we defended very well today, but going forward, we've offered little to nothing. And we're 10 minutes left in the game now. Less than 10 minutes. 86 minutes. There's been very few highlights in this game. Vazquez off. Ilicic on. Going to have a little chat with him before he goes out there. You have the ability to make a difference. It's three minutes of injury time, which has just run down. And it's going to be a goalless draw, which on the face of it is disappointing. We haven't been nearly good enough today. Just not enough chances and not enough shots taken. But defending-wise, we were fantastic. So that lets Real Madrid in. So if they win, then they will go on top. Who are they against again? Um, Las Palmas, wasn't it? Come on, Las Palmas. Do us a favour. Oh, they drew! Oh, my God! Okay, right. Um. Wow. Okay, right. They drew. They bloody drew. This could still happen. Oh my god. All we've got to do is win our last game. And if we draw. And Real Madrid win. They win. If Real Madrid draw. We need to get at least a point. If Real Madrid lose we've won. I don't think Barcelona can catch us can they? No they're four behind. So. Oh, it's, it's ours to lose now. We can't, we can't mess this up. I mean if we mess this up. This could be a bottle job of epic proportions, and I'll never live it down. I would not live it down. So, uh, Rami's homesick again. Not ideal with, um, you know, one game left. So, uh, we'll ask Thingy to uh, 
Carrie so to speak to him and he doesn't want to know. Okay, you know, it's the same thing he said last time. He's a bit unhappy, but, um, you know, the season's almost over, so he'll be on holiday. He can go back to, uh, back to France with his family or whatnot. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's one game left. I don't know, what, like, you can't just wait that like, one more week. Come on, we could be, you could be going back to France with a championship, with a medal. Uh, yes, we are absolutely holding a team meeting. Right, let's see. Calmly say, it's the last game of the season coming up. We put ourselves in pole position for the title. When you step out on that pitch, do all you can to win the title and become severe legends. A kind of a mixed response. Uh, I'm going to assertively say, that's the sort of overall reaction I was hoping for, but I expect, respect those of you who don't agree. So more or less, that was decent. Lots of neutrals. A few players like lowering a bit of morale, but still, you know, good morale. So that's that's not too harmful. That's okay. Let's just have a chat with Captain Cariso. And see what he's saying. Um, everyone's getting along really well. That's fine. I think we will start Vieto up top. Because Fernandez, since he returned, hasn't offered much. So I think we will bring Vieto in up top. Okay, right. Everyone's playing at the same time. Real Madrid are at home against Villarreal, who are 14th. Uh, Barcelona can't catch us. But um, they could still catch Madrid, I think. Let's have a look at that. They could, and their goal difference is a bit better. So Barcelona could snatch seconds. They host Elche. Okay, Alaves have gone very defensive with their formation. 5-4-1. And I tend not to play very well against these defensive formations. But the team, right. Fernandez, uh, I'm going to drop him for this game. Vieto is going to start up top. If any time I need a performance from you, Vieto, it's now, please. I think that's going to be the only change we make. Uh, I'm going to try and control the game. I'm going to play a lower tempo. We're going to be more disciplined. Close down sometimes. And we're going to play... F we'll leave it fairly wide. Right. That's all the changes I'm going to make there. Tactically, not too many tweaks. I think we should be able to do this. Now they've got Pacheco in goal. Hernandez, Fidal, Eli, Miazga, Bustinza, Edgar, Leandrinho, Torres, Katai, and Diverson. Um, yeah, I don't know any of these players. Right. Team talk. Uh, passionate. Come on, lads, win this one for the fans and seal the title for us. Okay, some players looking to gain confidence. Let's have a bit of faith. Let's try and get as much green in this team talk as we can because this is one of my biggest games in my, in my football manager career, like, ever. Because we could be winning the title in our second season with Sevilla. I didn't see this coming. I thought it would be another, you know, third or fourth place finish. But at the moment, we are on point to win the league. Let's get the latest scores up. Let's have a look at what's happening elsewhere. Well, Real Madrid are already winning. Bell scored in the third minute. So, uh, at the moment, Real Madrid are leading. But, uh, right, we've got possession. The, the, not, right, this half, nothing's happened. 39 minutes, literally nothing, nothing's happened. This is not what I want, guys. Come on. Half time, not a single highlight. Are you serious? I've gone aggressive. We are attacking. We need to win this game. Barcelona are 2-0 up. Real Madrid, how are they doing now? They're now 3-0 up. We have to win. We have to win. But we're not seeing any... There's not been a highlight yet. We're 55 minutes in. Right, encourage, guys. What is happening? This is the last thing I want. It's just a completely quiet game where nothing happens. Seven shots, two on target, 62% possession, but we've done nothing with it. We've got a corner. We've got a corner. Carrizo! Yes! Come on! 1-0, 63rd minute. We are back on top. Carrizo has the first goal in the game. Oh, my God. Right. Calm down, Andy. Come on. Right. 1-0. Montoya with the corner. It was Rami with a first header. And then Carrizo heading it towards the goal. The keeper. I'm not sure what he's doing there. Right. Standard. No, not counter. Not counter. Not counter. Standard. 68 minutes in. Right. Vieto's coming off. He's not done much today. Right, we're going to put Lucas on up top. We're going to play him false nine. Confirm that change. 68 minutes. 20 minutes to hold on. If we can keep, if we can hold this and win, it'll be a title. We'll win the title. Barcelona are 5-0 up. Real Madrid are 4-0 up. We are 1-0 up. All we have to do is win the game. Just hold the lead and we've won. There's 12 minutes left. Less, well, 10 minutes left pretty much. I'm just leaving the players out there. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. There's less than five minutes left. Right. Uh, Christophe Rofer and Zonzi. 
It's 1-0. We're going to win the league with a 1-0 victory in a game where there's literally the only highlight. There's a goal. There's a minute left. There's a minute left. Vasquez with a corner. It's headed clear. And we've won the title. Real Madrid won 7-0. But we, with a 1-0 win, have sealed the title. That's amazing. Barcelona, how did they do in the end? They won 5-0. Real Madrid, 7-0 winners over Villarreal. But... Us winning 1 0, the only highlight being a goal from Captain Carrizo, of all people, has sealed the La Liga title for us. That is amazing. Oh my god, I can't believe it. There were a few moments where it looked like it was going to slip away. We dropped a lot of points, we had some silly draws, but we've won the league. I can't believe it. In the second season, I didn't. I mean, it's totally undeserved. We've been pretty terrible most of the season. We've had some really crap games. But we've we've won the league. Carrizo, captain of the team, and on his 125th appearance for the club, won the league with a goal. With a, he won us the league with that one goal. Uh, win bonus. We've got f you get four million pounds to win the league, and that is it. That's the the pri the prize money in La Liga is terrible. You get like a 60 million war chest for winning promotion to the Premier League. You win La Liga, you get four million pounds. Uh, Rico actually won the, uh, is it the uh, well, not the Golden Glove. It's the Zamora Trophy. I think it's for the fewest goals conceded. It is 17 goals he conceded. Um, I think um, the uh, other guy Costil played in a few games and conceded one or two. But Rico with the um, the best keeper in the league awards uh, and the number one manager of the year. Uh, and Rico got into the team of the year. No one else managed to get in it this year. I think we had... Um, I think Nzonzi made it last year. Or Mariano. I think we had one or two players in it in the first season. But we've won the league title. Um, we're just going to go through until people go on holiday. And until we see like awards and things like that. But fantastic. I'm so, so happy with that. Oh, well, so us winning the league means that Mario no, no longer wants to leave because he no longer believes such a move to be good for his career. We've he's seen that he's, we've won the league. He didn't think we could. And now he wants to stay, does he? Well, I'm going to throw him out. Now, Real Madrid could still win the Copa del Rey, but they've got Levante to face. They won 1-0. Levante knocking us out, of course. That's one thing I'm going to aim for next season is um, better results in other competitions. Copa del Rey, we've gone out in the fifth round twice in a row. I want to try and get a bit further in that. And uh, let's try and get beyond the last 16 in the Champions League. Because two seasons in a row, we've been knocked out in the last 16. One season to Monaco, the other to Leverkusen. So, um, definitely improvements in those competitions. And then, well, ultimately trying to retain the league title. Try and win it a bit more convincingly as well. Because as I said, we weren't actually that good this season. But we are just that little bit better than everyone else. Champions League finals between PSG and Man United. Let's see who wins this. Uh, it's PSG. So, they uh, win it. After Arsenal winning it in the first, first season. And uh, Juventus won the Europa League with a penalties win over Spurs. Okay, Rico wants to move to Juventus. Um, there's been no bids. But like I always say, if they meet his release clause, they can have him. I don't know what Rico's release clause is, actually. I might have to have a look at that. It's 26 million. No, if they meet that, fine. We'll get 100% of that. So we can bet, get a goalkeeper for just as much. We could get Donna Rummer. That could be good. Okay, so Montoya made it into the best 11 and the Costil got onto the bench because he's the only other goalkeeper who's played, really. Uh, end of season awards. Here we go. So player of the season with 35% was Vitolo. Carrizo, the captain, with 30% 30, 30 rather. And Rami, 23%. No sign of Montoya in there, which surprises me. Goal of the season was that goal that Diego Gonzalez scored. I think that one goal of the month as well. Uh, Vieto was the signing of the season, a permanent signing from Atletico Madrid. Young player of the season was Walter Montoya, so he got something there, that's good. So the season review, few will have tipped severe to achieve more than continental qualification at best heading into the season, but lost nervy on Insis, converted every expectation by finishing top of the pile as unlikely champions. Match of the season, the 2-1 win over Atletico Madrid in December. The moment to forget was the 3-0 defeat uh, at the end of January against Barcelona. Joint four highest players used in the league in La Liga, 26 players. Average attendance of 43,000 and that stadium increase is almost finished, I think. Do we want to retain it next season? Or, I'm not sure. Do we want to try and win it again or go for Champions League again? I'm going to say Champions League. Let's see. They agree with that. That's fine. You know, saying we're going to win it again, that might be difficult, but let's see. Confidence is high. That's all good. Um, there's an injury report there. Um... 
There's Ruley, 26 years old. He could be a p possibility for goalkeeper, the saucy of that guy. So uh, we'll have a look at him, maybe. I think we'll have a four-week pre-season because people will be back from the World Cup, so I don't want to give them too much to do when they come back from that. So we'll have, give them a four-week pre-season. And I think that will do it. Yeah, so we need to think about who we need for the summer. I think we definitely need to improve our defence, try and sort out our misfiring strikers, and try and make money where we can. We may to need to replace key players if, if release clauses are met, and if we do want to try and make some money and offer people out, those guys do need to be uh, replaced. We end the season as champions with 87 points. We lost only five games in the end compared to Real Madrid's six and Barcelona's seven. We drew a game more, but that 27th win at the end sealed us the title. And yeah, next season we will try and retain it. We'll see what we can do. But ultimately, I want to try and get further in the other competitions. I want to get as far as I can in the Champions League and see if we can just win something else. You know, if, if we can't win the league again, we'll try and win the Champions League or the Copa del Rey. It's a big ask, but we will do the very best we can. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Leave a like for us winning La Liga, which uh, again, can't believe it. And leave any comments, you know, leave your congratulations down there or why do you think I do need to improve in the new transfer window? You know, do we need to improve our defense? Do we need some some reinforcements in midfield or up front? Let me know. But um, yeah, um, leave any in the comments down below. And if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, hit subscribe. If you want to see more things like this, hopefully see us win something else next season. Hit the subscribe button down below and you'll see the videos as soon as they come up. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. There may be a video in like a couple of days time. Just while I go through the summer and try and get the signings that I want. There may be a, like a one or two day break. And uh, in about a week's time, I'm going away for um, about a week. So uh, there won't be any videos that week. But I'll do a separate video talking about that um, later on in, in the upcoming week. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.